Hey love bugs, it's your girl popping in for my keto weigh-in and what I ate for the week. Accountability is everything for me this time around on keto, so y'all keep watching. All right, y'all, I'm about to do it. Okay, sleep lost some weight. All right, y'all, so today I got up and I decided to do a little cooking. I sliced up some turkey kielbasa and I had some asparagus that was about to go bad, but I just wasn't gonna let it because you know, you just don't let asparagus go bad. You just don't. So I have some asparagus chopped up, some red pepper chopped up, and some white onion chopped up. And I'm going to add some garlic right before I turn it off. And it's just um, sauteing some butter. And I'm going to decide if I want to use some cauliflower rice to put it over or just eat it like this. Like, I don't, I don't really know yet, but yeah, this is a really quick and easy keto meal for me. And I'm excited about it, yeah. I know on the inside of my pan, it looks like a whole lot of butter. Okay, it is a whole lot of butter, but it's grease from the sausage as well, so don't come for me. Do not come for me, okay? It's gonna be good. You don't gotta eat all, all the butter and all the grease and all that good stuff. You don't have to. But seeing that <laughs> all of this butter is in my pan, I do think I'm gonna need like some kind of a starch so I am gonna go ahead and cook my cauliflower rice really quick and I'm gonna have that on top of it and we will um we'll see how it goes. Um this is good. I already tasted this, this is good, but I don't know how I'm gonna like it with the cauliflower rice. I've only tried it once and it was okay. And then I had like the cauliflower mash that was okay as well. So I'm not like a fan of you know cauliflower rice or cauliflower mashed potatoes, but I do like cauliflower so we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna season up real nice and we'll see how it go. And just like that, we got a really quick and easy keto meal and I am ready to what? Eat. This is dinner. So I'll probably have um, some green tea after this and that's gonna be it. Then she going to fasting. One of my all time favorites, favorite things to have is lettuce wraps. Rather it be with um, salmon, tuna, chicken, it don't matter. I love lettuce wraps. So that's what this is. This is what I'm having for dinner. It's going to be really, really good. I like my tuna spicy. So I had some jalapeno style tuna and the deli style tuna. I mixed them two together. Still have some left over because I can't eat two pouches of tuna in one sitting. I just, I can't do it. And for, for me, that's a lot of protein. But, um, yeah, these are going to be like really, really good. And I top mine off with a little bit of cheese and sour cream. It kind of puts me in the mind of a taco, but not for real, you know. So, this is a really quick and easy keto meal that you can have any time of the day. And I love it. This is another one of my favorite snacks. Um, I just got to have cheese. And because I can have cheese, moon cheese is an awesome option to like chips but they don't really taste like chips they just taste like cheese <laughs> um the nacho one is like really really sharp this one it's not as buttery as gouda but it's i right. it'll do um i prefer wisps but you know moon cheese is like one of my pick-me-up snacks like they they're easily accessible they're like right there <laughs> all the time so i just indulge and and so we can see one carb it's two servings in here so there's two carbs for the whole bag i can never eat the whole bag in one sitting because that's a lot that's a lot of cheese not really but just like the flavor of these this moon cheese is very strong so i just can't like sit there and eat it all in one sitting but i do love these this is one of like my go-to snacks i can't even really call it a snack because it's like two boiled eggs with salt pepper and everything bagel seasoning on it and it is so good i tell you i know they look like a whole lot but i was really trying to get that everything bagel seasoning on this egg this time and i really did overcook my eggs but 
whatever they're still gonna get eaten because i was filming but listen super good good in protein a little bit high in cholesterol so be careful but this is a really easy go-to thing when i'm not really hungry but i know i need to eat something because i woke up at seven and it is 203 and i haven't eaten nothing so i know i need to eat and this is the first thing i'm eating and then we will get dinner thawed out and i will show you guys what i'm having for dinner one of these super easy things to have that i love to snack on i love pickles and i love cucumbers i will dice up some cucumbers in a minute okay excuse me slice up some cucumbers in a minute add some vinegar hot sauce season them up and it's a really good refreshing snack like i love it i love vinegar i love salt so it is like everything to me so it's one of those things that i, I try to keep on hand and i eat whether i'm on keto or off like i love cucumbers and today i'm having it alongside some lemon water so just a little something to hold me over until i'm ready to cook all right y'all this is dinner i got some garlic parmesan chicken wings and a side salad with a few uh chicken pieces in there and i'm gonna call it a night after this it is 5 18 that means i can finish this and start my fasting at six o'clock like i normally would so all is well this concludes my meal for the week there were some meals that I didn't include in these videos. One of them is my cauliflower keto pizza. That I, I, I made a video of and I'll have that up sometime next week. I didn't want to put that in there because for one, it was going to make the video extremely long. But I um, knew I could just make another video and it had instructions and all that good stuff in it. But anywho, this is dinner. It's looking good and I don't want it to get cold. I am going to add some Hidden Valley Ranch, which is right there. I know that it's not straight keto. Mind your business, okay? Mind all of your business. Like I already said, I'm doing dirty keto if you haven't watched my previous keto video. But yeah, this is dinner and I'm out. So week two was super freaking easy. Like I got through week two with nothing. The only craving I had was for regular sugar paws because I am craving another thing. The only thing that I am craving at this specific moment and I have been craving like this whole week is Chester's hot fries. Like I freaking love Chester's hot fries. Like they are so good. Everybody know me. Anybody want to give me a snack? Chester's hot fries it is. So those straight out the freezer are everything unto me. But I can't have it. But that's the only thing that I'm craving. Like I'm not craving bread. I'm not craving pasta. Um, I don't want like sweet things. Like I don't want cookies and cake and so i don't eat that stuff anyway but that's not something that i'm craving i'm just craving like the regular stuff that i crave salty shit i want some hot fries and i can't have hot fries but aside from that like it's going one good. thing i know i gotta chill on is the egg white egg bites from starbucks listen they are so good and wholesome but they so good they don't even taste healthy you know what i'm saying you ever had something so good you you know you just know it wasn't healthy even though they describe it as being healthy that's how i feel about starbucks egg white egg bites okay um but they good but girl they carb heavy so i gotta be mindful of eating them so i'm trying to break that down to like two two days a week if that um but yeah everything else is going good i've been drinking my water i've been minding my business i've been moisturizing my skin like all is well this time around on keto i think i'm doing amazing and i'm okay with that